Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here, National Weather Service. How about warm Santa Ana winds and rain? Those two don't really go together. Well, they won't be occurring at the same time. Warm Santa Ana winds will be before a significant weather pattern change for next week, just before the holiday. Let's take a look. These are the highlights. Santa Ana winds already occurring and they'll continue through Saturday. The strongest will be the surge of winds we see on Friday, uh, even though even the wind prone areas, most of them won't be over 40 miles per hour. This will uh, push the sea breeze away and temperatures will be above normal uh, with an upper level ridge over us, so a dome of warmer air over us. Very low humidity too as a result of the Santa Ana winds and the warm temperatures. Now we see cloud cover come back in on Sunday we could see some light rain Sunday night and Monday, won't measure too much. And the next chance comes next week as the Pacific Ocean looks like it's gonna get active. Okay, a large and cold storm system is expected in the middle of next week. Sure, the timing is off a little bit and it'll change, but the confidence is high. Uh, predictions are 60% chance of above normal precipitation. Yeah, 60% chance above normal precipitation uh, next week, Wednesday, Thursday. Additional storms could arrive right before Christmas and after Christmas through New Year's. Uh, some definitions uh, in case we get too much of the rain. Flash flood warning is urgent, life-threatening, property damaging type of flooding. So sudden rise in water. Uh, a flash flood warning will activate your smartphone wireless emergency alert and your TV emergency alert system. Much lower down there on the level of urgency is the flood advisory. It's for more nuisance flooding or flood prone areas such as urban areas. Still could be dangerous, but it's more your typical flooding. The flood watch product or alert is issued well before either one of these. So keep these in mind if we do get into excessive rainfall uh, the latter half of December. There's some tools you can use online too. I like this one because you can create a graph, a table, a chart. It can be color coded. It can be hourly data for most parameters other than rainfall. And it also uh, can be three to six hourly if you just want the big picture day to day type of forecast. Uh, you pick the location. This one also allows you to pick the location, uh, weather.gov forecast points, and it comes in a little more of a tabular color with everything really on one page. So instead of deciding which one you want, it's all listed on one page. I encourage you to use this at any location you want a weather forecast from. What's changing? Uh, okay, the first storm system will arrive on Sunday. So I mentioned upper level ridge over us. That's why it's going to be so warm. So the air mass is warm, warm ahead of cold, very normal. And um, we also have the Santa Ana wind going underneath this. Now Sunday, the storm system does start to modify weaken. It's because it's closed off. So it's losing its cold air and punch. It's going to kick out and lift to our north, just, just brushing. Uh, Southern California, and that's because there's much stronger storm upstream in the Gulf of Alaska. That storm drops down in its place, colder, deeper, further south, and it also closes off, not cut off, it's still in the main jet stream as the white line shows, but it'll approach us slowly on Tuesday. It looks like it'll swing through on Wednesday and Thursday. Cold enough to drop snow levels way down as well. Initially, everyone starts as rain uh, for midweek, however. Now, uh, after that storm, that's not the only one. A really strong part of the jet stream in the Pacific that's forming now looks like it's going to take aim on California. You, you always have to look upstream uh, in weather to see what's coming. And we have the most powerful jet stream in the world. And some of that energy is going to be coming our way uh, even late December or the holiday week as shown here. Uh, let's take a little better look at that. Uh, that is forming now as we speak in the far western Pacific. Uh, that jet energy, even though it's moving really fast, 200 miles per hour, is going to take its time as it slithers across the Pacific. It's going to become really consolidated, elongated. That's what makes it so powerful. And the difference is now 
uh, unlike a couple weeks ago, it's at a further south latitude. So the first storm looks like it's right over us on the 21st of December. And then another storm looks like it's right on its heels, possibly for Christmas or Christmas Eve, with more energy for late December behind that. Uh, when we look at all different types of weather models, you probably do the same. Uh, they all show different numbers. They have different physics, different parameterization, different processes, different resolutions. So you can't lock into just one and that's the one type of thing, but they all show wet conditions next week. That's the bottom line. Here's our forecast, most likely probability, 60% or greater uh, that this will occur. The rainfall generally one to two inches for coastal areas. Now, some of the rain will still be going beyond this period. So keep that in mind. These numbers will probably go up uh, if the storm stays on track targeting us because this only goes out through the 21st. And remember at the 21st, the storm might still be on top of us and likely would give us additional rain and snow after. So a good first storm, we've not seen any rain in December. The last rain was November 30th of any significance, even though it wasn't much rainfall. Now, before the rain arrives, we'll still deal with the winds, the Santa Ana winds, like I mentioned, the yellow shaded gusts over 40, uh, primarily Riverside, San Diego mountains with those east winds on Friday. That's what allows us to be really warm Friday and Saturday. Saturday, much lighter. We still keep that offshore Santa Ana wind, but the winds uh, start to fade as we start to transition the weather pattern. Uh, really low humidity, so we do have elevated fire potential. Um, the air will be dry because of the warm temperatures and lack of moisture from the Santa Ana wind. Very good visibility, like I can see outside. Uh, but some areas in the valleys, humidity getting into the teens uh, in the afternoons. The temperatures will really warm up. Um, which day is going to be the warmest? Tough call. Bottom line is Friday and Saturday, uh, 6 to 14 degrees above normal. Uh, the mountains will continue to warm on Saturday, that's for sure. But our valleys and coasts might be equally warm above normal both days, Friday and Saturday. The nights are still cold. Um, if you live in a mountain community, you've been feeling this, especially Big Bear, Baldwin Lake, but the high deserts, Idlewild. The cold air drains down the mountain slopes. It escapes into the atmosphere when the air is really dry, there's no blanket, and when the skies are clear and the, and the winds are light, which is common in Santa Ana. So basically what you're doing is you're bringing the desert and putting it over our region of Southern California, and the nights can be really cold as a result. I mentioned the outlook, and the outlook continues to be high probability. Um, this dark green shaded you can see on here is 60 to 70 percent. That's high confidence, not just of rain, uh, but of rain being for that period, December 20th through 24th, being above normal. And you can see it's focused on Southern California. So the potential is there for not just some light rain or normal rain, but above normal rain for that period, December 20th through 24th. El Nino is out there. Um, we've been talking about it. It's a strong El Nino along the equator. That's the ocean conditions. Um, you can see it on satellite here. It's well established in the equator region. Uh, in the red shaded, meaning it's warmer than usual, the warm phase. Now, I mentioned how dry it started off so far this year. So this will be a big change. The first two weeks of December, uh, less than 25% for most places in Southern California. Just very little rainfall. Uh, we had a little bit around November 30th and not really anything. A lot of dry days, multiple Santa Ana wind events. Now, we have been tracking the weather pattern uh, prior to today, and we are seeing things develop in the Pacific. Uh, so this is no coincidence. Um, the jet stream is sinking further south, and we're seeing some enhancement warmer to the south, cooler to the north. So that's a strong indication that the uh, energy in the Pacific is piling up or, or increasing. And, and that's likely not the direct result of El Nino, but certainly some influence from the warm ocean temperatures, as you can see that big warm anomaly in the atmosphere, not in the ocean, but in the atmosphere, uh, creating that boundary of that stronger jet stream, which would lead to our pattern change um, because it's at our latitude next week. So stay tuned, uh, could be some active weather coming in.